Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 1484, written by Bran Craw Dog. A man's odyssey through parallel lives. I, male 42, am relatively successful, though not as successful as I should be or as big of a failure as I deserve. I have a great wife, female 34, and two wonderful children, 3 and 5. I went to bed last night a near perfectly happy man. For reference, I had a girlfriend from the ages of 17 to 21 that I remained very close friends with, until I met my wife 10 years ago. Her and I both decided a close friendship was impossible, mostly due to the fact that we were hit or miss on rekindling our relationship for a decade. What I can only account for as a dream completely consumed my day. I remember going to bed in the same house I woke up in with my wife this morning. I was at a gathering with my wife and children, and my old girlfriend was there with her now husband. I got up to get a drink and she approached me asking me to go to a back room and enter a closet. She was insistent on me accompanying her. I went inside and this is where it was dreamy. It was almost third person omniscient. I was standing in her parents driveway. We discussed our breakup because she was going to another city for college, but it was like a do over. We watched our conversation and this time I agreed to move in with her. I stepped into my own body 21 years ago and got in my truck and drove home. From that moment, I relived my life as though I moved with her. I looked in the mirror and was 21 again. She was there, narrating the whole thing. She graduated while I worked, and then I went to college while she worked and then we got married. We were at our wedding, celebrating at our reception. I remembered our honeymoon in Mexico. It seemed to move fast, but we had a son, then a daughter. Went on many vacations. We were in love and happy. I had a career completely different than the one I have now. We had an incredibly nice home, friends. I had memories of my new friends and was enjoying the different life. We would lay in bed at night and I'd ask about my current wife and the life she had on the other side. She could take me and show me. Very vivid. I kept thinking, this is a dream. I have to wake up. She insisted it wasn't a dream, and I didn't have the usual dreamlike physical characteristics. I didn't believe it was real, insisted we go to my parents' house to confront them and leave this dream. They looked so happy. In my real life, they got divorced 18 years ago. My formerly incredibly successful brother was living at home. He was a pothead that had no motivation to better himself. I started to remember that about him. It was as if all my real life memories were disappearing and this was my reality now. I kept telling her I didn't believe it. We drove to the house I live in now that I just built and moved into 15 months ago. It was a vacant lot. We drove by the facility I work at and I recognized it but it didn't work there. I couldn't even tell you what I did there. This was becoming very confusing. I thought, I'm gonna wake up any minute. But I never did. I live with this girl. We had a son and a daughter. I can see their faces. I can hear their voices. We watched them grow. The son was in baseball and the daughter in gymnastics. We had pool parties, went on vacations. I'd ask about my other wife and she'd tell me I need to take my medication again. I'd talk to the doctor that this life I remembered was just a figment of my imagination. All of a sudden, I was forgetting about my real life. Years had passed. I couldn't decide what was real and what wasn't. She wasn't narrating our life anymore. It was just my life. I would take the kids to school to practice, come home to my wife who I loved. I kept thinking it had been too long to be a dream. I went back to the doctor and told him what I remembered and he chalked it up to me being schizophrenic. We struggled through that for years. I had to quit drinking to stop the memories. It was so hard to function some days. I knew I had a family somewhere. My work struggled. I spent all my time trying to find my other wife. Then I found her on Facebook. She lived 1500 miles away. I flew out to see her. I went to her house. She was overweight and depressed. I tried telling her I knew her. I was arrested and after posting bail, I flew back home. 
my wife was so supportive. I began to realize that this life was real and I had imagined the other life. We watched Shutter Island and I was just another nut job that had made it through life somehow. Once I accepted this, I was fine. I didn't have any more problems. My other wife dropped charges and I was back at work without issues. Years later, I have just retired. I'm recounting the days 20 years ago when I thought I had another life. My wife tells me I can. All I have to do is go into our closet. I was confused. She proceeds to tell me that she had gone into the closet that we went into, back at the gathering I used to remember, and I can go back. I felt so confused, I asked her, did you know this the whole time, and you did this to me? She told me she too remembered the gathering. She had gone into the closet and lived her life as though we never split. She said she made it until I died at the age of 93. She came back and got me. Now I'm losing my mind again. I'm old. I have lived nearly 50 years with this woman. I don't really even remember my old life. I remember my original kids' names, but not even what they look like. She tells me we can go back, but if I want, we never have to return to the closet and we can live the life we have together. I got up and walked to the closet, walked inside and walked back out, into the gathering from the beginning, as if I'd never left. My original wife was there. We left and came home with our kids. We went to bed and I didn't say a word about what happened. This morning it was surreal driving to work. I felt like I was driving to the wrong place. It took me until 8am sitting at my desk to accept this reality. I remember so many vivid details. I don't know what life I'm in. I am happy. I have my now wife and my now life. Kinda wish I had the other life's bank account though. But I feel like I've lived twice. I don't want to go back to be with my girlfriend, but I do want to know what happened to everyone I knew for so many years. Like 99% of my life has returned, but the 1% that is different is there. I remember two pass. My wife listened and gave me a big hug and told me she's glad I chose her. But did I? I think I did. I felt so much wiser at work today, so much more mature. Like I had lived before and got to do it all over again and I have much more confidence in my decisions. I can't find any loopholes in my memory. Other than that, I don't remember who won the World Series or Super Bowls in the other life. Nothing that stands out that this was a figment of my imagination. Quesant Sofa 1484 A Man's Odyssey Through Parallel Lives Ah uh, yes, so this is the type of story and experience really that parallels so well to sci-fi too. So of course I'm thinking of TNG's Inner Light. I've mentioned it a few times on this uh, channel because stories like this keep popping up. Perhaps again, it's one of those things where sci-fi borrows from real life. So these stories aren't just suddenly happening, where people wake up and or visit a closet, which is a very strange uh, detail to this story that I haven't heard before, but often people will go to bed and enter a dreamlike state that becomes more and more lucid, but they can't wake from it. And eventually, even if it's days, weeks, months, years, that fiction, you could call it, becomes their real life. They never see it happening in the moment. It's very gradual, piece by piece, until they are completely consumed by the new life and their old life has been suppressed. Now, what is real? What is fake? Ask Morpheus. I don't know. <laughs> Was this a simulation malfunction? Did you hop to a different world? but in a transient sense where your soul was zigzagging between them back and forth? Maybe. Maybe this was actually just happening in your mind. It wasn't a glitch in the matrix itself, more a glitch in your own brain. But if that's the case, it does happen to other people relatively frequently in terms of how often we can get these stories. Of course, if you're talking about how often this happens to the general scope of the entire planet, it's very rare. Certainly, I've never experienced anything like that. I've had somewhat relatively lucid dreams, but even then, not really. Nothing even 0.001% of this. Have you ever had a dream similar to that? Maybe some people experience a single day. I've had more stories like that too, where they experience a single day, it feels so real, and then they wake up. Maybe it describes the future day, or a day that will come in a few weeks or months or even a year or so down the road. I've had a story like that too. But yeah, needless to say, 
Stories like this are incredibly fascinating because it appeals to our nature to experience something else, different. The grass is always greener, right? Of course, that's not always true, is it? It's more individual pieces of a different life that might be better, like in this case, your other self's bank account. <laughs> yeah, shame that didn't transfer over. And now time for the quote of the day. Poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. J.K. Chesterton Well, I have a very specific and simple reason for that, because poets are in touch with feelings, and often in touch with ethics very well, philosophers as well, and they're all very well aware that cheese is of the devil. No, seriously, why do people like it? I will never understand that. Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. Kinetic Symphony signing off.